Eisenhower and his farewell address, that wonderful farewell address where he talks about beware of the military-industrial complex. Uh, that's a very important statement in, in world history. And uh, a lot of people don't realize that Eisenhower talked about even more than the military-industrial complex and its corrosive influence on a democratic society. He talked about the, the influence, the deleterious influence on academic and intellectual life in general and its dependency on increasingly on government and military connections. And absolutely this is true. You look at academia today, um, frankly, it is one of the most rigid, intellectually rigid environments you could go to, where um, intellectual debate has become so politicized and so, so rigid. Um, yes, what Eisenhower talked about was beware of a state within a state. Um, as the writer Gore Vidal pointed out many times, he said, you know, the serpent has come into Eden. <laughs> this is true. And Eden is the American constitutional republic. And the serpent is the military-industrial complex. And it is that state within a state. And it happened during World War II. And it expanded after World War II. I call it a national security state. I think that's as apt as any, a secret state. Yes, good one. Um, shadow state. That is a state that is not bound by the laws that other people are bound by. And indeed, it's a state that is often unacknowledged. In, in the United States, there's a long history of <coughs> significant government agencies, absolutely secret for, for years. The National Security Agency was founded in 1952. No one knew about it. The NRO, the National Reconnaissance Office, for 30 years, it was a felony to mention the existence of the NRO in the uh, halls of Congress. It was a felony. So that we have a history of secret government agencies, significant ones. I think it's very likely that we have others. <laughs> I think it's a reasonable assumption. But what Ike was talking about is the, uh, the, the corrosive effect that this has. And here's, the, here's where the corrosion occurs. When, when you have a government, when, you, when people sense that there's a significant part of their government that is not responsive to them, and indeed that lies to them, as people do know, and does things that are not always very nice, and does things that are often, often uh, engaging in its own self-interest, and people, over a long enough period of time, are going to lose their confidence in that system, and they're going to lose, they're going to lose their own sense of uh, connection to this government, and they, they'll, they tune out. And that's really what we have. So when you, when you veil the truth, and when you hide the truth, and when you distort the truth for long enough, you, uh, you will lose. You will lose the people that you're supposed to lead. And, but again, uh, what does it matter? People, people can be pacified. You know, in George Orwell's 1984, the TV watched you, right? So today, you watch the TV. It's a fair question to ask. What's the difference? People watch TV. They become very pacified. Do they need to participate in the political process? Increasingly, they don't. But there is a sense that, uh, you know, the serpent has come into Eden. And um, there was a remark 500 years ago by Nicola Machiavelli, one of my favorite guys. Machiavelli, in his Discourses on Livy, wrote, if you really want to change your form of government, uh, the way to do it is retain the old outer forms so that people are not aware that you have made these fundamental changes because people really only see the outer part. They don't see what's going on underneath. That's the way to make a real revolution. That's what's happened in the United States. There's no question in my mind. So that you have the outer forms of this republic that still exist. What power does it have? Where is the true power? Same thing happened in Rome, of course. We all know this. The Roman Senate, after the, the civil wars, was basically emasculated, but it remained on in the form of the empire. And I think that uh, what we see is, in the case of the United States, and, in, and certainly in the case to varying degrees of other industrial nations, you see similar types of developments, where the elected official outer governments are increasingly emasculated. <laughs>